continue the previous uh, class that is uh, now simplify using the laws of logic uh, in my previous video you would have seen various uh, laws of logic now using those laws of logic you have to simplify the given statement which is a compound statement uh, so first one is uh, p or q and negation of negation of p and q and uh, please note that for any of these uh, kind of questions there will be multiple ways to solve it you can apply the laws in any order so one such solution here is first what we do here is since it is a negation of negation then we can apply the de morgan's law so what we can see here is first one we will keep as it is that is p or q and so this negation i will apply to this expression so you will be getting and negation of negation p and and becomes or and uh, q becomes not of q now for this negation of neg negation of p i will apply the law of double negation so you will get we will get a p or q and p or not of q now using the distributive law of or over and we can simplify this further as p or q and not of q now for this q and not of q by the inverse law because here it is a q and not of q so this will always be false so it is represented by f0 so you'll be getting p or f0 so now p or f0 using an identity law will be getting p so this is how we can simplify this given compound expression so which is written in this stepwise form using an equivalence uh, or which is uh, we have seen already this is equivalent to second one we will simplify using the laws of logic the given expression here is negation of negation of p or q and or or negation of q again here please make a note there will be different ways of getting the simplified expression and the order of applying may change so one such answer here is i'll be applying the de morgan's law so now this negation will go inside so negation negation of p or q and r and negation negation of q so this will be again i'll be applying the law applying the de morgan's law i will be getting negation negation p or q and negation negation r and negation negation q now by applying the law of double negation to each of this expression i will be getting p or q here and r here and q here now by using commutative law i can arrange this r and q in a reverse fashion so now after that i will be getting p or q and q and r now applying the associative law i can get this p or q and q and r and by absorption law so which is applied for p or q and q i will be getting q and r so now this is the final simplified answer which is q and R. So likewise you, you can take down these questions for simplifying using the laws of logic. Next is uh, the dual of a statement. So what is the dual of a statement and how to obtain the dual of a given statement we will see. So suppose yes be a statement and if s contains no logical connectives other than and and or so what we require here is if a given uh, uh, statement contains anything implication or equivalence if and only if then we have to convert that without those uh, we convert that into an equivalent statement containing only and and or then the dual of s denoted by s to the power of d is a statement which is obtained from s by replacing each occurrence of and by or 
and R by and respectively and each occurrence of T0 and F0 by F0 and T0 respectively. So example here, suppose S yes is a proposition or a statement which is given by P and not of Q or R and T0. Then the dual of S yes will be P or this and will be replaced by R and not of Q we retain as it is and R will be replaced by and and R as it is and will be replaced by R and T0 will be replaced by F0. So please make a note here only and will be replaced by R, R will be replaced by and T0 is replaced by F0 and F0 is replaced by T0. So what a mistake many people will do here is not of Q will be written by Q and P will be written by not of P that is not the way. So only R will be replaced by AND, AND will be replaced by R, T0 will be replaced by F0 and F0 will be replaced by T0 to obtain the dual of the statement. Next, if the given statement is P implies Q, first we will write P implies Q as a not of P or Q and for this the dual will be not of P and Q. Now suppose uh, here the principle of duality. So what this principle of duality says here is let S and T be the statements which contain no logical connectives other than AND and OR. If S is equivalent to T then the dual of S is always equal to dual of T. So this we call it as principle of duality. Next is so. Uh, substitution rule again here you have two substitution rules so first one is first substitution rule which is replacing each p by another statement q so suppose that the compound statement capital p is a tautology if small p is a primitive statement that appears in capital p and we replace each occurrence of p by the same q then the resulting compound statement P1 is also a tautology. So, suppose we will see an example. Suppose P is a proposition given by negation of P or Q is uh, equivalent to not of P and not of Q which is a tautology. Now, you can replace each occurrence of P by R and S. So, if this P is a tautology then the compound statement which is here P1 obtained by replacing each of P by R and S will also be a tautology. So this is the first substitution rule. And the second substitution rule here it says that suppose that the compound statement P is a tautology. If P is a primitive statement that appears in capital P and Q is a statement such as Q is equivalent to P then suppose that in P, capital P, we replace one or more occurrences of small p by Q. What we hear is P and Q are the equivalent statements and P is a proposition or a compound statement. Then this replacement yields another compound statement P1 such that capital P is equivalent to capital P1. So example suppose here P implies Q implies R. Then P is equivalent to P1. P1 is not of P or Q implies R because P implies Q is equivalent to not of P or Q. This is the second substitution rule. So the next is negate and simplify the compound statement P or Q implies R. So first we have to find the negation of this original compound statement. So negation of P or Q implies R. So which is equivalent to negation of we know that A implies B is nothing but not of A or B. So likewise P or Q implies R can be written as negation of P or Q or R. And now if you apply the distributive law will be getting negation of P this R becomes AND and negation of Q or R. Then again if you apply the law of double negation you will be
will be applying uh, law of double negation law of uh, if you uh, know you apply the de morgan's law so negation of negation of p and negation of negation of q and r so which is nothing but p or q and negation of r now what is the negation of if john goes to the lake george then mary will pay for john's shopping spree so now we have to first convert this into a uh, statement form so let us consider p is some proposition saying john goes to lake george and q is a proposition equivalent to mary will pay for john's shopping spree then this above statement can is equivalent to p implies q so the negation of this will be negation of p implies q is negation of not of p or q which is p and negation of q so therefore the negation in statement form will be john goes to the lake george but or you can also use and mary does not pay for john's shopping spree so we will stop here and continue in the next lecture thank you